And we're back. Alright, set the timer. Alright, let's see how deep we can go. I mean, I've got like 363 bucks and three healing potions, so not really much of a... Not, not much to lose if I go too deep and die. Absolutely sure my equipment is... Yeah, they're all sparkling. I don't have anything that's... Uh, Nothing else on me that uh, I'd lose. It's a good place. I'm curious if I'd stop. I'd have to do 15 twice. I'm curious if I do 15 and then try to go into the bonus dungeon in 15. Let's go to the first one first, and then. So I don't know if like. If there's a difference depending on which bonus door you do, it probably is. Cause I, like the the first dungeon was like a bunch of aqua weapons, so maybe each floor of each dungeon has like different, I don't know, reference for kind of gems and weapons and stuff. I'd have to test that, but let's just start with the first one. that door. Last time, the first floor was all gems, second floor was all weapons, but like crappy weapons. Third floor was kind of a mix of gems and weapons. That's as far as I went last time for the other dungeon. shard it's because they're already like half dead <laughs> the snakes are the worst Can't hit those before they get a hit in. Not that I can hit the bats, except uh, you know when I'm moving too fast. This isn't a very good start. Good. Crap. I was gonna say it's still alive, but it's neck. He missed me, wow. How the hell did he miss me? That's the first time I've seen an enemy missed. Crap, whip. Yeah, the whip.
Nope, anybody gets to vote. Everybody gets a, a free vote. You can also use your channel points for like extra votes, but uh, yeah, just excla exclamation vote with uh, either the number or part of the name will uh, will work. So if you want to vote for Dex, exclamation vote one, or exclamation vote space Dex will work. I think I'm gonna be spending my health, uh, my uh, my entire time here at one HP, aren't I? You want to vote for fun? No voting for fun. Ah, the snake again! I hate that snake. Come on, snakey snake. As long as it doesn't poison me, is poison would be bad. So enemy, so, like it used to be, there didn't used to be this many enemies. Enemies are just like coming like crazy here. I'm gonna stake again. Oh, gonna... Right now it's a pretty tight race between SD Gundam and Dex. What's the score right now? Oh man, it's very close. They're almost neck and neck. Anybody's game. Freaking snakes. Snakes, I'm guaranteed to take a hit. Come on. <laughs> so close. <laughs> so many gems. Look at all those beautiful gems lost. Yeah. No, it's not resetting piss off uh, Ishtar more. I mean, I'll get those gems again, but... <clears throat> yeah, they seem to be, like, really pumping those monsters at us. Holy crap. So many of them. And a lot of them took, like, multiple hits, which is bad. Because if you take multiple hits, I mean, you're taking... I mean, it's, well, snakes are bad, because snakes, you're guaranteed to take a hit. And then those, those knights were, uh... Like damaging us as well. Could use a potion, but might as well go in there without a potion. At least now we have like a little more armor. <laughs> we have gold armor for the other parts that we. Uh... You should get like a, a suit of, of gold armor for like the the parts you don't have equipped as soon as you go into the dungeon, no matter what. Imagine at this point losing everything. <laughs> You'd be screwed. I guess you could go to the lower level dungeons, lower level floors, or whatever.
we should. Enemies a friggin' snake. And one gem out of those three. I'm specifically going to stay next to you. Try to get out of here faster. Shipping from China. I just love that. Drop shipper, I guess. Yeah, all these freaking snakes. We'll be here in like two to four weeks, if you're lucky. But these things don't give you experience. Ah, freaking snakes, go away. Snakes suck. Ow. Can't hit me, na 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 na. deeper. So what kind of weapons we get if we can survive. Starting a room with like three dudes right next to me. We have the height advantage. That's actually pretty good to have. Us to kill, like, pretty much anything we need to kill. Except snakes, of course, always get a freaking cramp to strike in. Can't do anything about that. Of course, it's a question mark weapon. It's like, what kind of weapons are we going to get here? It's freaking snakes again.
Didn't get armor last time. We got weapons. Next floor, next floor. It's bad. All the stuff we got on that floor were like unidentified. Same crap as the other dungeon, so I guess it doesn't really matter which one you go into. You're just gonna get the same shit. Except the enemies will be different. The other areas won't have like but choose some other dungeons, I'm not gonna get these shitty ass snakes that this one has. I can handle everything else, it's just the snakes. The snakes are like all right, well, I'm taking a hit for sure on this one. Snakes, they poison me. I'm like dead. No matter what. Probably. I keep forgetting I can use those gems. I don't want to, like, the whole point is to come in here and get money. I don't want to, like, throw my money away. Especially since I can take the hit as long as I'm at two hit points, which is fairly easy to do, and I don't get surrounded. That's the, that's the main thing. I, I need to not get surrounded, and I can easily, like, survive anything. Because I can easily walk away from them and not take the hit. As long as I'm very, like, cognizant of, like, what the other means are around me. Like, does this guy have a whip, or does this guy have, like, a hammer, or, you know, like... I know exactly what they're gonna do. They can, I know I can't. They can't kill me. I can kill them before they they kill me. So just have to be very careful. The snakes are the only. I guess we're gonna see. I guess we're gonna find out if poison can kill. <laughs> this this is the only issue is the poison. Yeah. This, so it doesn't seem like there's any point in going into this dungeon here. Versus, let's say the the one on on the first area, because it seems like it's the same bonus dungeon, same equipment, same gems. Like maybe there's gonna be different ones, but maybe maybe it's based on the floor number and not the the dungeon. So if you go floor one on any dungeon, it's gonna be this one here. Should try floor two on like another dungeon. No, it doesn't. Because cause he's got a red shadow means he's going to attack at the... Uh, he's going to attack first. 
And most of the time when you have enemies that are that attack first, they'll also move first, which means you can preemptively, like the bats, for example, is a great example. So those bats, if you know they're going to be moving on, like, on the square, like, right in front of you, you can attack on the turn they're going to move, and they'll technically move first, and your attack will, will land, so you'll actually kill them before you, they, they get an attack off. But the snakes are, like, they attack fast, so they almost, they, they get an attack off before you get an attack, but they're slow, so that means your attack will will land before they move into the square, so you can't preemptively, like, hit them like you can with the bats. So snakes are just kind of annoying like that. I don't know. Again, this game, this game is... It's fine. It's definitely one of those you have to take your time. You have to like, you have to really figure out the mechanics of like the enemies, how the enemies work. I'm nowhere near figuring out the mechanics of the, the rest of the game. I'm sure there's probably ways of like completely breaking this game. Like I'm not sure about like the combining stuff. Like I'm sure if I worked at it, I can really break the game, especially for stuff like abilities. If I want to transfer abilities over from one weapon to the other, it's just the fact that you need to have a plus 15 version of an item in order to transfer its ability. Like, holy crap, like... So you need like 15 weapons in order to get it to a plus 15, and all the and enough cash to transfer all those weapons, to combine all those, those, those items into that weapon to get a plus, plus 15 weapon. It's like, what the hell? Let's try the second floor, just to see if there's any differences. No, I mean, I, I, I've barely been using items. But man, I got lucky with a good item, or with a good weapon, so that I guess there's no reason for me to really use items as much. But yeah. That's probably why the first floor has, like, a bunch of, uh, of gems, because they expect you to use those like stock up on those and use those as weapons in the later floors. I don't want to do that. I'm using it for monies. Money and upgrades. Snakes again. Uh, I thought I was done with snakes. But I remember snakes in the uh, first area, so so maybe snakes only show up in basement in like second floor, not the first floor. I don't know if that means we're gonna get different items or not, but. back here. Crap, not you, snake. Stay away. I don't want you. Somebody drop something.
is there so many snakes? And why is nothing dropping anything? Seriously. Thank you. An agate. It's new. Good to have in a weapon. Problem is these like these two in one things don't seem to be as good compared to let's say like something that's just pure one thing. Yeah, I mean this, I'm not sure if this would be like considered the quote-unquote post-game one, it's a bonus dungeon you can access. I don't know how deep it goes, if it goes forever, but yeah, maybe there's actually like a handcraft, like this is obviously like a randomly generated bonus dungeon, compared to let's say like a handcrafted. Those bands definitely attack faster than I can move. I have one antidote potion. Take your time. Only one gem out of that memorable dude. Sounds fancy. Yeah. Elemental stuff. I don't want to put anything specifically elemental because then, you know, weapon might be weak against a certain enemy. I'd rather have just non elemental for weapons. Like, obviously, you can probably, like, build up, like, a really good weapon that's good against, like, you know, specific types of elements, but it seems like a lot of work. <laughs> I don't think I need to min-max like that. At least not for the, the main game, because, yeah, most likely there is a post-game dungeon that requires you to min-max. <laughs> you want to, like, beat it? Suck how fast your protection goes away in these bonus dungeons, though. Crap. Lucky there. the elevation stuff because these enemies here that we usually get the uh, usually survive two hits will usually die in one if you get the elevation bonus doesn't help me against uh, snakes though
I'm curious if like a snake would move faster going downhill. Like, I know if you, when you go up, then you're slower. But I don't know if it same thing happens if you or if the reverse happens when you're going down. Ah, that stupid slime there. Didn't spot it until it was too late. <laughs> kind of a shitty run anyways. So it seems like we definitely got different... Uh, there's different enemies, but... the We're still getting the Aqua stuff. So, might as well stick with the first floor anyways, because... I don't think I was getting snakes when I was going to the first floor. It probably depends on the enemies you're actually fighting in that floor, normally. Everyone will be advancing towards the camera. You really don't get any visibility. Well, the problem with the elemental stuff is that if you have the reverse element, so let's say you have a lightning sword and you run into a enemy that that is a lightning type enemy, well then you're doing you're doing less damage to that lightning enemy. But of course, if you run into a shit. If you run to a that's bad. Uh, then run to a water enemy. Then of course you're doing more damage. But so on average, you could you could either you know do less damage or you could do more damage. Might as well just put it in neutral so that you're getting an expected amount of damage on everybody, kind of thing. You know what I mean? That was a bad set of monsters there. Two monsters that took like two hits each, plus a bat I got in range. How much money do I have now? Like one gold? If I die with one gold, do I lose a gold? Does it... 23. Does it like... Does it round up or down? Guess we'll find out with this one. Are we going to go to 11 gold or are we going to go to 12 gold?
I think I've noticed well so far, I mean this might change later on, but a lot of mystery dungeons games have, this one doesn't, is rust. So that's a mechanic that always sucks in these kind of games. It's like, oh yeah, you, you, you put a lot of work and effort to like get this, uh, you know, nice strong weapon and armor. It's like, yeah, it just rusted away now. It's gone. Of course, most of the time when there's rust, it's going to be just... In, in these cases where you just get, like, a like plus things, you'll just, like, lose a plus thing. But even that sucks. This one doesn't seem to have that. At least I haven't seen any enemies that do it yet. But those are usually, like, late-game enemies, so... Pretty sure we're nowhere near there yet. seem to be dropping gems like most of the time. Last one, they like, were dropping like no gems at all. Lapis Lazuli, it's just like elemental, isn't it? Some cut at Aquamarine or something. Bypass basement too, because I'm gonna snakes. One day. Probably not, considering it's a one-off. More snakes. So we're skipping this level, too. One day, one day they'll get here. All right, this one have snakes. Let's 
freaking snakes. Why is there snakes everywhere? How do we get to that one? Okay, I'm poisoned. Well, I'm about to die. Just a regular, like, friggin' enemy. <laughs> like a, a weak part of the dungeon. So we're warping out of here. I mean, there's not much in the way of choices. There's, like, Torneco, there's the Shirin series. That's about it. It's probably not much else. I'm sure there's probably a whole bunch in Japan, but. No, not, not Tornelico, uh, Torneco. T O R N E K O. He's the uh, merchant from uh, Dragon Quest IV. He, that was actually the first mystery dungeon game that we got here in the States. It was on the PS1. Yeah, I mean, not many people did, probably. <laughs> Since he was a... You know, he's, he's like a character from a game that probably very few people played back in the NES era, so... I'm surprised they brought it over. The Chocobo Mystery... Uh, the Chocobo uh, Dungeon made, kind of made sense, but... Echo is a real surprise. It's a good game. But it's surprising that they brought it over. I can, I can appraise two things. <laughs> Get a fort. Sell. Oh, I got I caught, caught Aquamarine. I notice. Wait, that increases HP in a weapon? Oh, it's, in, it's right. It's, it's the armor that increases endurance. Which one's the one that increased uh, damage? from four yeah in four four was uh one of those ones where they did like different uh, chapters so each uh each kind of like character or pair of characters whatever had their own chapter and then they got all together in the last chapter tunic was the merchant dude This cut malachite. Oh yeah, we have that other uh, silver helm that I wanted to to transfer over. Cause that one had like the guard up or whatever it did. It's one of the reasons I went to try to get smoker marine. Yeah, this one here's got a guard up. Just that one Aquamarine has uh, same amount of defense. So, caught Aquamarine and regular Aquamarine is the same then? It's weird. 
Oh, I see why, because this one here has one extra... For some reason has one extra... Defense. But this one here has the guard-up ability, so that's definitely better. I put a regular Rocket Marine. I'm sure we'll be switching it at some point when we find, like, a Platinum or Mithril helmet. Alright, now I gotta inscribe that one. The DS version? Yeah. I forgot that was a thing. I wish you could just, like, swap. Like, like, you have to go into one menu to remove inscriptions and another menu to inscribe something else. Inscribe something with, or we uh, combine something with a uh, with gems. You'll get to transfer some of those abilities over. Oops. Yeah, I got some HP and endurance up. So we did defense went up to. It actually did go up, but... It's a freighter weapon again. 10,000 bucks. I'm removing all of those, not like I'll be able to... I wish the uh, equipped stuff was on top of the... I, mean, I guess I could just sort and boom, it's on top. Do that every time. adding a bunch of old-school PS1, PS2 games. Uh, Shadowheart's slim to none, like basically zero. Dragon Quest, I mean, Squeenix is... I, I, I'd be surprised, because if anything, you know, Squeenix is probably going to be releasing, well, they're releasing, like, that 2D HD thing, 1.5 DHD, whatever the hell it's called. So I, I'd be very surprised that uh, they would allow they did get the older ones on there because they would want to sell the new ones, right? So, yeah. Both of those are pretty much zero, I think. But it's just who owns the license, right? Like, even even the uh, even the guy who like, I don't know, the one of the, one of the big guys that that is making that uh, Penny Blood spiritual successor to Shat Shatterhearts, if he could have gotten the IP, he would have been able he would have gotten the IP, right? But And that's the problem. Like, if the license holder isn't either, isn't uh, I mean, maybe, maybe uh, I, I guess yeah. Like, it's not. It's not like they would really have too much to to do. It was just like, yeah, here, give us some money, kind of thing. But I, I don't know. It's probably it's probably not easy. If anything, it's just going to be like a whole bunch of. It's going to be like the Sony's catalog, obviously, the, the game studios they own. And maybe a couple of other ones. Like, probably stuff you saw in the PS3 store. But PS2 games, yeah, no. It's very unlikely you're going to see anything that's not a Sony studio. 
very very few things that will be that won't be a stu Sony Studio. Oh yeah, I mean, there's always going to be more. I'm sure they have talks. Especially, you know, with, with the Game Pass, Microsoft and Game Pass, I guess they're doing well enough that Sony's like, yeah, we need, we need a cut of that. We need some of that pie. Money. More money. Let's get rid of all these shards. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, they might they might make deals with other uh, other rights holders, but. It's really tricky, especially with licensing, because the problem with a lot of these older licenses is they're not just in one person's hands. They're in multiple people's hands, split up along, among other, like, a lot of different things. Plus, each game has, like, different uh, different licenses, right? You have, you have stuff for, like, DivX for video, or you have, like, you know, this Havoc engine, or you have this, you have that, and then that, and it's not just a simple, like, oh, yeah, you know, the developer gives the rights to it. All these other 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 companies have to allow you to do that, which is not easy to do. Yeah, no, about time, right? I'll have to pick up a copy of that. Still have my collector's edition there. Is it out physically? No, I don't know. If, I don't think it came out physically, right? I think it's only digital for the PS4, PS5. Yeah, I guess the exclusivity there for uh, Nintendo finally ended. Just enough. So 132 damage. So keep these. Alright, nothing else in my inventory that could get lost. Alright, let's try let's try dungeon number two. I need to get a friggin' place that doesn't have snakes. <laughs> physical release, yeah. One day I'll have to crack open my collector's edition. Take, take off the plastic and like... Which will like drop the, the, the price by, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Let's try the 10th floor. Some expensive plastic wrap. I'm trying to think if I... Had to crack open any of my collector's editions yet for fast forwards. I don't think so. All the fast forwards are skipping the collector's editions. <laughs> well, I'm sure that game probably runs fantastic on Steam Deck. It's not exactly a high, uh... Here's the Kingdom Collector's Edition and open veneer. How many of those they bring out though? Some collector's editions have like no value because they like they popped out like a bajillion of them. Other ones are like, yeah. Definitely like 
harder to get, expensive. Imagine, like, I mean, Zelda just... Legend of Zelda is going to be popular, so, I mean, no matter how you look at it, that one's going to have value at some... If it doesn't have value now, it's definitely going to have value in the future. Yeah. It really depends how many they sold. That's That's the biggest thing. I mean, they sold in the collector's edition values. Yes, yeah, it's always like the the supply and demand, and how many, like how popular is the the IP. It's about lost half my health, or like all my health there. She's the wisp. Was the, are we gonna have wisps to deal with? Hmm. Let's go find out. Uh, scalpers on eBay, yeah. That's also always the problem nowadays, too. So many freaking scalpers for everything. Oh god. This looks bad. <laughs> okay, this guy attacks faster than me. Yeah, this is. This was a bad room. <laughs> the hell? This is dumping you in a room with like 20 dudes. Good luck. Yeah, that was super bad RNG. I think I was going to go back to the the first area, level one. Well, they're definitely worth it. I mean, just the gems alone? Like, you're not going to find a better source of money. For the, you just go to the first floor, you just pack up on gems, and you just buy whatever the hell you want. I'm just curious of, like, how deep can I go? Because I know the first floor is, all, is like, 100% gems. Second floor... It's mostly, like, weapons and armor, but, like, pretty shitty stuff. Third floor is a combination of both. I'm just, I'm just curious how, like, the deeper you go, does it give you, like, you start getting, like, really, like, strong equipment? And, like, the other question, too, is how deep does it go? Is there a limit? Is there like, can you go down only five floors, ten floors? Is, does it go on forever? Because it's randomly generated, so they could potentially just go on forever. There's n no reason to have a limit other than just like, like certain loot or something like that. Could be, but considering you can go in from any floor, it's it's different, right? Like if I go in from floor nine on, in this dungeon, would I only go down one floor? Probably not. What the hell? Oh, I didn't. It's like why the hell did I? Did he take two hits? Got the wrong. Freaking item equipped. So he didn't one shot me with uh, his attack. Yeah, you can't rapid dash. <laughs> Running in, in these dungeons is suicide. Because next thing you, like, as soon as you stop, you're, like, you're on beside an enemy, like, a bat or something like that. It's just like, well, at that point, you're dead. Like, you can't 
you can't do like the the preemptive attack like you do if you're taking your time where you're surrounded by like three guys three health come on come on all the enemies. I need some stuff so I can sacrifice it. Give me a bunch of shards so I can sacrifice it for for uh, protection. rooms. the weapons. There's nothing to do here. It's all here evening up the votes. <laughs> Tied back up. So many beautiful gems gone. little more power so I can one shot those those purple uh purple dudes. Alright well let's go back in the dungeon main dungeon. Let's go dump all this cramp. Guess I level up my weapon a little bit. This, this, this. Get like four of these for now.
Ready to go. No dying. Sort of, but uh, I, I, I think the like the better the equipment you combine, the better boost you get in stats. So you don't want to be combining like some shitty stuff. Like golden armor probably won't have any stat changes at all, even though it might look like it has like a little check mark on the damage up or something. You'll notice your damage doesn't change. You'll raise it by like 0.1, so you're just wasting money at that point. slime for a second there. We got a lot of skeletons we have to kill on the way back. Unlock the chest. Get key. Unless we have to do something special before we got the key and I haven't really done it. I have to get the key after killing like six dudes or something, I don't know. If you have to find any, like, oh god, yeah. Any of this stuff, equipment wise or gem wise, that have been good compared to the stuff I found in the bonus dungeons. The only thing would be accessories, because as far as I can tell, the only place you can get accessories is those chests.
me all these crates uh, have something to do with the gold chest or something. Not that I'm going to be even attempting to try to find gold chests. Well, it's not the number combined, it's just the actual stats. Like, if I took a mithril weapon combined with my mithril, I'm going to get a way better chunk of uh, stats. Stat gains compared to, like, combining it with, like, a, a short sword. If I combine it with a short sword, I'm going to get, like, no stat gains. I'll get a plus one, but I uh, won't get, like, an actual, like, increase in, in attack. And if I put on, like, a mithril sword onto it, I might get like a plus two or plus three da damage, but it'll, it'll still turn into a mithril sword plus one kind of thing, right? Uh, maybe, maybe it's like one of the things. I guess you'd have to test it with like with like save states just to see for sure, but it just feels from a little bit I've done that seems to be what, what was happening. But again, that's just that could be like a placebo effect. Like it just like oh my my damage went up by two points here when I use this thing, and then yeah, I use like a crappy one. Oh, it didn't go up at all. Probably be each weapon has like a certain growth uh, thing. So like anytime you you know it goes to plus two, it's gonna be like this these stats. If it goes to plus three, it goes to these stats. It'd be one of those kind of growth things. I know for sure the elemental stuff does transfer pretty much guaranteed, though. So if you have, like, a thunder sword and you put it onto your weapon, it's going to have thunder... Uh, thunder abilities or whatever. Well, I know for the... Uh, well, not with combined, but... Sephiroth, the Disius, thanks so much for the 34 months of Austin's board. Fine day. Thank you so much for that. But uh, yeah, for the for the transfer, like the the way you're talking, the thing you're talking about ability wise, that that only gets transferred with the other guy. You have to have a plus fifteen, then you lose the item. But you're not actually gaining stats; you're just gaining the ability. So it's kind of like a different method. Work. Hopefully, it's a. Uh, Nice, quiet day. Probably work going by fast. This level's convoluted. Convoluted. This is such a maze, just like constant, like going up and down and up and down. <laughs> Stairs. I hit a dead end again. I think I did. How do we get to that exit? If I ran forward here, would it stop me before I hit the uh, spikes, I wonder? If I hit the dash button? Should test that out. Not at full health, though. Maybe if I'm like right about to level up, yeah, close. But all right, sixteen done, seventeen. So, so I'm assuming this one's gonna be a thirty-floor dungeon, considering uh, you know we got a teleporter portal, whatever, back at level fifteen. Wookies. So a lot of these little like side things, I could see this maybe being a requirement for the uh, chest. Platinum base.
just kill there? It's like a purple lizard. Getting low already. 34. I didn't go through like a super dungeon. I'm going down that fast. Not finding a lot of chests either. Does leveling up. I'm assuming leveling up doesn't change my protection. Not really. It's not affected by level up. Got the height advantage so we can one shot these guys. Even then, we can't one shot them. It's spicy down here. What's that chest? Right, heading the right way for it. Helm. Again, probably not an upgrade. I'd be very surprised if we run into any, uh, any equipment, non accessory equipment that's an upgrade. Could be wrong, though. Prove me wrong, game. Prove me wrong. Alright, game, prove me wrong. Damn it, I just upgraded this one. Uh, it's got three slots as well. Why? Endurance courses from our uh, gems. Strength? I don't think our gems had strength, so it does have a little less strength than the Silver Helm. But of course, it has three slots, so. Time to make another trip down to. Uh... to get more gems. Use the magical power it stole from me to change the blue crystal rod. The dark crystal rod. Shit black brilliance turns all hope to despair. An army of darkness descended. The vast army of monsters bore down upon us like a tidal wave, and Bill stood up to this army in order to defend me. It was the last I ever saw him. We're gonna murder Key, aren't we? No waifu for her. And then. Oh, rip everybody. So many corpses. Every last creature on Earth was wiped out. Damn it, Thanos. He snapped too hard. <laughs> I know, right? I stole the life from everyone and everything. I destroyed the world. Alright, game over. The world's dead. Next game. I killed Gil. My sins are too great. I never atone for them. some sort of weird, like, futuristic thingy, or I don't know. This is the future that could be. Damn it. Let's 
faster than I can. So maybe I can move away and then like swipe him afterwards, but attacks faster than I can move. Ishtar must be pissed off having all these these random potions <laughs> I keep sending her. It's like enough, I don't want more potions. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of like energy or energy reduction and poison potions. It's like, I'm sorry, I didn't know what they were. The bottles were unlabeled. on me when I was distracted by the crates. Uh, that's a lot of dudes. Set up the chest. <clears throat> it's a witch question mark. I mean, I'm assuming this unlocked somewhere we needed to go. So maybe there's a uh, something blocking the exit. I want to wait for him to respawn. <laughs> He'll chase me. Oh. 
really hate when I can't see, like... I need to put Gil a little more, like, in the center of the screen, not, like, in the bottom half like that. Just over here. Hey, Pyro Slayer, thanks for the raid. Welcome, readers. How's it going, Pyro Slayer? Where are you playing today? Doom 64, nice. But that's a pretty good one. I never played the uh, 64 version. Supposedly it's pretty good. Fire Raid, how's it going, Selfish Shot? How's it going, Fire Slayer? Welcome, welcome to a game that doesn't get a lot of love, but I don't know, it's, it's an interesting game. If you like any of the Mystery Dungeon games, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stuff, it's very similar. <laughs> New accessory. It is a classic. White belt. Hopefully it's a good accessory. Uh, let's see. Got some HP and a little bit of endurance. I lose a little bit of attack, but... Let me... No attributes. Neither does this, mind you. So... A little bit of defense with a slight loss of attack. I mean, this one, I was gonna say, this one's better in every way, but this one's got the guard up ability. It's one of those games that people, I mean, probably gets a lot more hate than it should. It's because it's a, it's a very, like, niche, like, style, right? It's the roguelike slash mystery dungeon style game, which I think this is the third one that came in States. So we had uh, Torneco, which is obviously a very unknown one, based on the uh, Merchant from Dragon Quest IV on the PS1. And then we had Chocobo's Dungeon 2. So it was very, very much an unknown kind of style in North America at this point. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting kind of game. You have to take your time. The way it works is that the enemies only move when you move. So it's almost like an action RPG, but it's like it's like a turn-based action RPG. It's about the closest description of it. So you have to take your time, you have to like kind of think ahead. Because you can easily get your ass handed to you if you're not careful in this. It's time a bit. But yeah, it's quite a bit different than anything else on the system, so I can see why it didn't get a lot of love back in the day. It's weird that guy actually took two hits. I needed to sharpen my sword. Wait, what just hit me there? Did he just did he spawn out of nowhere, or was he like hiding in that trap and I didn't see him? I'm getting low on health here. I need some. Either need to use a potion or I need to uh, level up. Again, those slimes can attack from range. So much Sharon Torneco would consider the answers of the genre. Yeah, but I mean, mystery dungeon games are definitely like quite a bit different from the rogue. I mean, they're they're likened to rogue and net hack and all that stuff, but they definitely took the formula and changed it quite a bit. But it's hard to argue that it's the same kind of like, same kind of uh, movement system, if you will. The slow plotting, you know, kind of action turd based style. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, definitely burn around forever. They just uh, kept putting a new coat of paint on it with a new IP to popularize it again, I guess. Let's throw some... Offer a couple more potions. This 
is going to be. Might as well lop it. Good. This is the bad one. Eighteenth floor done. Nineteenth floor. Oh yeah, I mean it was never like a, it's, it's never a series that that took off, if you will. Obviously, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games definitely did better because you know, hell, you slap on the name of Pokemon onto anything, it's gonna sell like hotcakes. But uh, yeah, definitely didn't like make kids clamor for more games in this style. Like, obviously, Torneco and Chocobo probably didn't really sell it too well. And this thing definitely wouldn't have. Like, like I'm, I'm curious of how many how many sales they actually did on this thing. I can't see having been many. Well, they definitely made them more approachable, since they were kind of aiming for a younger audience. It would have made him a lot uh, easier to kind of like to handle. And have to use a healing potion. Let's use a regular healing potion. Aha! The enemies that take multiple hits. Keys over there somewhere. Yeah. Definitely less punishing, too. Oh, great. Looks fun. Well, I have a good feeling I know what the, uh, or at least one of the requirements for the, uh, the chest. Probably hit all of these panels. Hit them all, just some of them, I guess. Most of them. Rock lodestone. Move on panels. Rough. I don't think I've seen lodestone yet. Your dark element. Ugh. Garbage. Yeah. Good old wizardries. These are cheating. Oh my god, Wagon. Seventeen. That yeah, should be fine. Famous last words. Everybody's favorite. God damn it. I 
hit point. One hit point. Make it stop. Hit enemies where I can't, like, one shot them. Raise the power of my weapon more. More. So I guess I could use the first strike when they're like down to one hit point. So it should be doing. leveling up by one kill away from leveling up ever. Hopefully, hopefully I don't get to level 30 and there's going to be another uh, teleporter, which means 45 levels probably, or 50. There's no point in using that on the snakes since they're gonna hit me anyways because it doesn't kill them first. I'm out of antidotes, which is bad. If I get poisoned, I mean, I might as well teleport home because the poison basically completely kills you. This is pretty stupid. I mean, you might as well be hit by a wisp at that point. Actually, it's worse than getting hit by a wisp. Because Wisps will only bring you down to one hit point and disappear. <laughs> that snake just literally kills you. With one hit of poison. system at all. It's all just based on your, you can just equip whatever equipment you want, and uh, there's like intelligence and stuff, which I'm assuming is going to be if you're using the gems as attack power, which I haven't been doing at all. Roper again. Way too much damage. Right. 
Yep, burnished dude in the armor. I mean, that's basically what he was in the, the original game, too. Some, like, generic dude. Oh, god damn it. Ropers. There was a slime. Oh, I unlocked the chest. All right, kill Red Roper. Chest over the way over there. These ropers look like it oozes, which is tricky. God damn it. How many antidote do I? I need to get that chest, but it. No. Rip all the rest of my health potions. that how much damage poison does yeah it does I, I tested it just for the hell of it and yeah like when I was in one of the uh, one of the the other dungeons there where you know I didn't mind dying yeah it's bad you'll still like the the tick before the the death one will still only bring you down to one hit point but then the tick after you're dead fight snakes. I'm gonna avoid the snakes if I can. I want to break through the wall, but I can't afford the health. It's probably snakes. I'm saying it's red and it's not flapping. Oh. Chase me forever, isn't it? Definitely can't handle a roper. Why is there so many snakes? Let me just grab that chest before I meet my demise. This is nasty. I think it would have poisoned me there. Do we have any corrupt lodestone? Let's do those two. Oh, I have one. You get a... Uh, you get a feather, which will let you uh, escape at any point. It's just, you know, the deeper you're going to the dungeon, you'll, you'll, you'll basically go back to outside the dungeon, so you still have to go back in and back to the level you were. Now, we can teleport to floor 15, so we're not going to start from back from floor 1, but... Flyer shield, eh? We're not to have to go back from floor 15, though. So I still have to go through these guys and 
kill these stupid snakes again. I'm gonna go through these snakes. Let's get out of here. Hopefully the next part doesn't have like a billion snakes. Snakes. Why does it have to be snakes? Teleporter Maze is my favorite. God damn it. We just tried to use his poison, so I'm assuming I'll have him safe after he tries to use poison. Or he doesn't use it twice in a row. Try to use poison again there. I'm still just taking damage every time I attack one, though, which is not good. Ah, this teleport maze is. Worst fucking thing ever. Yep. I'm not sure if you had a spear there. Fuck. Oh come on, why did he why did he get a double attack? Ah, oh, god damn it. I, th I think what happened is he hit me with like a regular attack, and then I guess the thunder attack was a second attack. Aw, oh, man. Backstab, I guess some dull attack. Aw, oh, man, I lost... I lost my... Uh, I lost uh, my shoes and my... Uh... Damn it. Dragon mail? When did we pick that up? Is that good? Probably good. Lost that, whatever that was. I don't know where I picked that up. Where's Helm is something I picked up. Yep, I'm pretty sure I didn't get Dragon Mail in that chest. Lost the boots and the iron gauntlets. Fuck. And the belt of bravery, although I can pick up another belt of bravery. But where was that? Uh, that was like level six. Yeah, it's kind of. be hard to get back there. Man. Ah, uh, rip. Uh, that sucks. Freaking hell. I should have just face tanked that. I just thought maybe he was like, oh, maybe I'll get away, and if he hits me anyways, at least I'll be out of range, but I didn't think he'd get a double hit in. Uh... Sucks.
Well, as we have our weapon, weapon's the most important thing, but... The boots and the, uh, I mean, I, I had a bunch, I had a bunch of gems in those and everything, too. The warrior helm was an upgrade, too, but, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to pick that up again. Like, on floor 17, I killed a purple lizard. The white belt, we, we can hit that, we can get that on the way down, so that'll give us that white belt again. That was a decent accessory. Grab some backup stuff, I guess. I need some boots and uh, gloves. Man. Some red boots, I guess. back and just get some gems so we can throw some gems in these ones at least. Ran some money. Well, money and gems, mainly the gems. Some defense boosting gems. And to be fair, the uh, the base uh, the base armor, like the base gloves and. And uh, boots are very similar, like there's not much of a difference between one set and another. Except for like, maybe the abilities. I don't know if the ones I had even had any abilities on them. And most of the armor was, was given to me by the gems. Checking these ones. These ones suck. Get these mazes. It's not that they're like confusing to get through. It's more like I don't know what's around the corner. I could have a bat that's about to melt my face in. Just 
fire. That's a lapis lazuli. Where's, where's my aquamarine? move the bats can get in range if I attack this guy the guy the bats can get in range and of course that dude just didn't die anyway so I was screwed either way the only chance would have been if I killed that thing and then I gained one hit point because there was enough time that I could have survived the bat but That's a bad combination there Can't feather out of those dungeons, fortunately. that in. It's to really give you a lot of lapis lazuli. Rough rock on rain. Nice to get some regular aquamarine. Let's hold off and put that rough one in there. 
gotta get back to get those uh, items anyways. Should have attacked slime first, was I thinking? Because either way, the bat would have gone a hit on me, but then I would have been dead next turn, so either way, I was screwed. Never mind. Dand if I did, dand if I didn't. It's between a rock and a hard place there. Man, a stupid double attack, Brug. Wasn't for that, would have been fine. Unlock the gold chest. I don't know what I did necessarily. It was in the gold chest, but it wasn't good.
cheating. Move the way expected. He hadn't seen me there, it is. Weird. I got a regular aquamarine. Alright. Got a rough aquamarine, got a regular aquamarine. Let's try to get a couple more. I won't go down to the uh, the second tier, I'll just stay in this tier. For that. It's not gonna help me. I guess I can use one of these. <laughs> Hope that was worth five thousand bucks. <laughs> That's why a shard would have been useful. Try not to die here. <laughs> Somehow still alive. Good gems there, let's get out of here. Let's try to buff up my uh my armor my base armor more too. I'm not going to bother like leveling up the helmet too much more because we have that warrior helmet in the dungeon, which is going to be better. One step forward, ten steps back. <laughs> it's 
pretty much roguelikes in a nutshell. Hey Tam, how's it going? Welcome to pain. <laughs> I lost a bunch of good stuff. Because I got backstabbed and I got like a double attack. Should have been able to survive it, but no. That was fun. for now. Yes, sir, they were. It's okay. If you if you if you like uh, roguelikes, if you like mystery dungeon games, you'll probably enjoy it. If if you bounce off hard in those games, yeah, this one's not gonna change your opinion. It's one of those games where you could just like lose everything, just a uh, slight you know, just, just some bad RNG. Well, not everything. I mean, I get, you do have this inscribed stuff, at least you get to keep, but it's still a pain in the ass. Got a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of gems in the last trip. Keep leveling up the uh, Claymore. It's gonna be my best bang for my buck. Triple slash would be uh, pretty nice. Then I have to level this thing up to like level 15 in order to transfer the ability, which is sounds like a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, it works out pretty well. And hold on to this platinum spear just in case I need some range stuff. See if we put this short sword in there. It's a game like plus one. We put on the platinum hammer on the other hand. I got some EP, but. Is it 130? Yeah, it was 133, so, so gained two damage. It definitely does seem like the, the item you use makes a difference. HP 
pee on that one. How much HP? But 37, 7,500 more. It's back in there for now. All right. Let's try another trip from the regular dungeon. Freaking hell. Uh, should I bring some healing potions? Cube. Nice for the Tales game that's more like this. The Tales uh, roguelike Tales Mystery Dungeon. Well, I mean, roguelikes are definitely not popular, like, ever. Like, the, the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games obviously got some traction because it's Pokemon. I can guarantee you if those games came out with anything other than a Pokemon branding on it, that series would have would have like stopped at one game, right? Nobody would have played it. But like overall, this this type of gameplay is just not really well represented and not very popular. Nobody likes to to go into a dungeon multiple times, just making a little. Well, not nobody. Like some some people do, but the the, the average person doesn't like just grinding a little bit of little bit at a time and having that potential of like losing everything. Yeah, I guess Returnal is probably the closest thing to like a modern take on on roguelikes. If anything, it's more of an indie thing nowadays. You're not gonna have like any like big, you know triple-A. No, exactly. They're definitely not going to push out something. They're not going to spend any money developing a roguelike that's going to sell, like, not like nothing compared to anything else they bring out. Absolutely not a single person in all of existence. Even the, even the developer is just didn't want to play the game. They had to like outsource it. They had to pay people to play their games because nobody would be willing to play it in the, in the studio. Yeah, I should re I should play Returnal at some point. Never did. All right, so this one out of Thunder Mask. I don't care about. Flora Seventeen is the one that uh, I want to get that warrior helmet. This is the really annoying long one. I'm not sure what the hell the requirement in this one. It triggered the chest when I picked up the key, but... I clearly getting the key was the, the trigger, but... I'm not sure if there was a, another thing that we did before we got the key. Maybe we had to kill a certain number of enemies or whatever. Hades, yeah. I mean, there's still some examples of ones that do well, but definitely not triple A. I mean, really, like, all, all those, like, uh, card-based kind of roguelike things that get popular are examples of other roguelike-style things where you're just doing the same kind of going to the dungeon over and over, just making a little bit of progress. Same kind of idea, just obviously not this style of uh, combat, but... So there's still definitely a market for this stuff, it's just... The average consumer... A very niche... Very niche thing. Well, I mean, they... They re-released one on the Switch or whatever, but... 
in terms of making a new one. Yeah, I, I doubt Squeenix is ever gonna spend money on making a new uh, mystery dungeon. Quick cash grab, no problem. Brand new one from scratch? Nah, we're good. they definitely need more of. I mean, they, they still do the occasional stuff, like, you know, Squeenix, for example, and their Tokyo Game Factory stuff. An example of, like, you know, A tier. Not, not even A, it's more like B tier. And everything wants to be, like, everything goes for, like, triple A super Games as a service bullshit stuff. Your game factory is not defunct, are they? That's sad. They had some decent games. Nothing amazing, but I mean, like I said it was just okay for the. Uh, what they're going for. Oh, I'm sure it's as good as Microsoft closing down with, with that Hi-Fi Rush studio. Every company is just stupid, basically. Every company makes bad decisions, like, everywhere. Any way you look at it. Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, Squeenix, EA, like... It's just... There's no good companies out there. Like, not, unsurprisingly, companies are there to try to make money from you. That's it. They don't care about anything else. That's, that's what they're there for. Scale party games. You know those like Jack. Uh, you don't know Jack games. It's gonna be large scale. Yeah, exactly. They want all the money. They want you to like. They want you to. They, they want. They want you to sign them a blank check. Basically, that's what they want. I take seventy dollars from you, and they can take seven thousand dollars from you. I mean, that's, that's that's way better. Damn key. That's right. Upcoming tabletop game? What a Final Fantasy 14 tabletop game? <laughs> I can see the map better. Is there like an option at all? No, I really wish there was an option for like opacity of, of like large map. You either got like a mini map that's easy to see or like a large map that you can't see anything in. Oh, well, I mean, that's exactly what companies are going for. They're so they're trying to sell you a service, and they're trying to sell you a game. It's 
this whole point. Sense of feeling replaceable. Move on to the next guy, yeah. This dungeon sucks. This floor sucks. Of course, this has to be the first floor you go into when you go back into the dungeon, which is just... Why? Trigger the chest when I got the key this time. So there was definitely another requirement. I don't know what it was, but. Gonna be, there's always going to be a developer out there that caters to like the very niche crowd, but it's all about, you know, supply and demand, right? There's not that much demand for it. You don't want to be making a game for like, you know, five people. Problem is that I want to keep like leveling up is a bad thing. <laughs> then everything levels up, and unless you can keep up with the the amount of damage, dies. Oh, some people enjoy the spectacle fighters or whatever they call them. Let's not break down that door. Yep, those are the best potions. The question mark potions. It's like, do I take this potion and potentially screw myself over? Alright, so this one... The, the chest unlocked when we hit a purple lizard. This one has the warrior helmet. specifically triggers that uh, chest seems like every time I 
dying you find that's the potion you need yep that's one thing that you should do if, if you do die where like you're gonna lose your stuff anyways they should identify all of your uh, all of your unidentified loot just to let you know how bad you just lost like like oh man look at all this cool stuff you just lost like this this amazing weapon that you didn't get to identify just to rub it in your face <laughs> Exactly. I should totally do that. I think with these unidentified potions, but I'm probably not going to use them. I'm not going to waste like a a uh, discovering thing, so I can sacrifice them for uh, for my protection anyway. So it does have a use. Because even these ones that are like end up being bad, like this poison potion, still get 20 protection points out of it. Good old Lost Odyssey. I'm not sure there's other people that want the same stuff, it's just... Unfortunately, it's just a very, like, small subset. That's always the problem. Small markets are always hard to to make products for. It's one thing when the products aren't super expensive to develop. But stuff like video games, yeah. It's a lot of time and effort and an upgrade for a helmet if we ever get back alive. Uh, I might as well grab the white belt. I didn't grab a... Uh, didn't put an accessory at all, did I? But whatever. White belt would be a, ne a decent accessory. That one... We, the chest trigger when I hit the switch. That was like the last thing I did, so... Maybe I have to kill a certain number of enemies before I get the switch. Was there... Might have been... Might have been barrels, or not barrels. Well, barrels. Crates. Maybe I got to destroy all the crates. Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's got a good armor class. Got three slots. Let's have to get back alive this time. Not die. I died of a backstab. There's a chest of half the gold because I'm gonna die again. 1200. 620 gold in that box. Is these crates. Like, pretty sure there's a bunch of crates around the level, so I'm probably have to destroy the crates and then hit the switch. I don't know if they could be gear in the reverse order if I hit the switch and then break the crates. It's called the game of life. Nobody wants to play the game of life, that's boring. Ah, uh, there's, uh, yeah, protection it's called. So protection is kind of like food slash stamina. 
if it goes down steadily. Uh, it, there's not, it's not really a limit per se, because when it goes below 20, then the, your view area reduces. And I think if you go back below 10, it reduces even more. If it goes to zero, you're basically blind. Like your view area is literally just the feet on your feet under you. And I'm pretty sure you don't heal. Oh, like you don't heal anymore. You don't lose health, but you don't regenerate health when you're at zero. But at that point, you're effectively blind. So very bad. In a uh, thing where monsters can hit you. Yeah. to get more protection you basically have to sacrifice items the lowest i've seen that you get from an item no matter what it is even if it's like a shitty potion is 20. i imagine the bigger stuff like some higher level or higher tier stuff you're gonna get uh more protection give them a gem like you'll be 40 or whatever good way to get rid of these like question mark potions that you're probably not going to use anyways in case it's like a panic potion or something i mean if you're out of healing potions then you know you're, you're probably gonna risk taking a blue potion just in case but i said it was like 20 something hours so i'm definitely uh Behind him. Of course, I've been like grinding to, to like upgrade my equipment and stuff like that. Plus, he didn't do any of the, uh, or very few of the side quests he was mentioning. RNG probably plays a big favor, a big, uh, effect in this. Like, I mean, I got a pretty, pretty nice weapon, for example, but. Otherwise, I could, I could still be rocking. I could be rocking out some like shitty like silver weapons and stuff. Right. But pretty sure it's those barrels because pretty sure I destroyed all the barrels and or, barrels. keep calling them freaking barrels, crates, boxes. by that in any way. I play the games at my own pace. So. It's not like, oh my god, no, I'm like the average play time in this is 20 hours and I'm like I'm at like 60 hours. Like, no, whatever. Now the thought line is like, all right, does this make us money? No, all right, let's not do it. It's their thought line. That's the thing. It's not. It's not necessarily the developers. It could be the publishers, right? Developers might want like, because developers had like infinite amount of time 
and money to make whatever they wanted to do, right? Then they'd be they'd be ecstatic, but the the publisher is like, no, this needs to be out for this holiday season or whatever. So they 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 get put into crunch time. They just don't have time to the TLC that they need to. Oh, for sure, yeah. And the next floor had just a lodestone. The floor after that had a fire shield. So the next two floors, I won't bother trying to get the chest. Although the next one I'll probably get naturally because it was stupid moving panels. Literally just that one right there, and just move forward and triggers the chest. That was a super easy chest. How would you do a MMO roguelike? Kind of hard. Everybody just dies after starting the game. One minute to playing the game. I'm sure, it would review well. Plus, you know, MMOs aren't really a thing anymore. A couple of, like. Holdovers, but I mean, there's a big. I remember the 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 boom of the MMO is there. Stuff like EverQuest and WoW. I mean, WoW was especially. Once WoW came out, like every every company tried to do the WoW killer. Yeah, I guess muds would be. Closest thing for sure. tries all the MMOs. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot during the boom. There's so many. I think everybody knows about the big ones, but yeah, there's so many. Okay, 666 experience next level. Great. There was that like the dragon armor that we had. I'm curious where that came from. I must have picked it up and didn't realize I picked up some dragon armor and it's gone now.
84th video, jeez. Eighty four sounds low. Where do I have this guard up I can use? next comes up, yeah. It depends what you count by MMO, too. There's a lot of, like, a lot of, like, mobile stuff. <laughs> if you count the mobile stuff, it's probably even, even bigger. You miss me for that poison. Coming after me. chance, but I'll lose half my health. Well, half my health, my entire health. <laughs> you can do it a second time. Well, at least, like, a lot of the classic, you know, this classic WoW, this classic, uh, classic EverQuest. <laughs> Fans will keep alive a lot of the, uh, classic versions of games as, as much as they can. Ropers. I get level up, and I get poisoned. Frickin' hell! Do I have an antidote potion? I do not. God damn it! As if I got poisoned right after leveling up. Come on! Oh, there goes all my health. Apparently. It's like, oh, here's all your health. Nope. <laughs> Ours now. Like, look at that. Full health. Basically took out, like, 90% of my health. <laughs>
has been a certain number of kills because last time I killed a red roper and set off. Oh wait, that was the gold chest. Wait, what? I thought that was a silver chest we just unlocked. I don't know what the hell the requirement was for the gold chest, but we killed the bat. Gold chests aren't really that good. Alright. Did we. Is it this far we died on, or. chest or anything, so I don't know where the requirements are. Snakes. and I can attack. Last time I tried to run away, those guys had hit me first, so I didn't want to get my back stabbed again. I don't have a key yet, do I? Get to the exit. I gotta figure out how to get to the key. using that one room. Okay, it seems like you can get a freebie because when you teleport in they don't aggro on you until like the turn after. It's 
Spider-Man theme real quick. Closer. Where he's gonna be, not where he is. Unlock oh. the chest. Is that it? Orange snake. Snake. Oh, same room, too. So barrel. It pretty much has telefragging. It's nice that you're basically immune that one turn you teleport in. How the hell do we get to the damn key? Get to the key. Get to the key. back. That is the question now. Yeah, they definitely hit you before you can move. So you don't want to move away from those guys. Yep, I need to move towards them. That way. Infinite XP, let's go. Hitting those diagonals is hard. the hell out of here. Ugh, it was a pain in the ass. Alright, well, I mean, that hack and roguelike would definitely be about as abstract as you can get. weapon.
luck be a landlord? Yeah, Bellatro. Pretty good thing is about Bellatro. Seraphiroth, here we go, Bear Daily Live. Thank you so much for the 44 months of awesome support. I was calling this fun Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we're Wednesday. Last track of the days, the joys. Switches. We have to do anything before we hit the switch. New chest. Switch on this side too, I'm guessing. It's our uh, 22 protection. We need more protection. All these energy train potions. No, my next day off is going to be. I'm guessing Sunday. Let's see. Yeah, t this week was a weird week. I had like uh, Sunday, and which technically gave me a three day weekend because I had Friday, Saturday from last week. Sunday from this week, and then uh, Wednesday in the middle of the week. Probably Sunday, let's see. Yeah, next Sunday. Another three-day weekend. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm off. Hooray! Just have a little too much health. Can't one shot him. that are another freaking dude hell what the, another what is I guess they did call each other just why Yeah, it definitely seems like the enemies are just getting really tough. It was like that in the last dungeon too, we got like a big difficulty spike. Near the end of the dungeon, which was kind of annoying. It's like, alright, now you're running out of resources. <laughs> Time to suffer. Just, just hitting a whole bunch of switches. Yeah, really wish they could 
turn down the opacity of this map so you can see what the hell you're looking at. It's so hard to see anything. Yeah, if you at least, like, knock that weapon out of your hands, you could be in trouble, so... Get a chest, so... Specific requirements for the chest, I guess. It's sticking around to find out. I've got at least uh, another seven to go. That's maybe 25, but I'd really be surprised if they gave us 25. Last dungeon was 20, so... up anytime soon. Getting poisoned last time when we leveled up was slap in the face. It's like running into a uh, It's like running into a what call it? Trap. Running into a, uh, a wisp as soon as you leveled up. Yes, it is. 23 out of 30, question mark? It's getting brutal now. Be very careful. Mission's still good. There was, yes. And then I, I did die at one point. Some enemy got like a double attack on me when I was trying to run away. So I... He did enough damage to bring me down to one hit point, and the second attack killed me. So that kind of sucked. So I lost a, a bunch of stuff, but luckily, you know, my inscribed items, the good stuff there, my, like my weapon and stuff, are still around, but... Yeah. Especially last dungeon was like, there was a teleporter on floor 10, and it was a 20 floor dungeon. So we had 10, 20, and this being 30 is very logical. Keep one-shotting these enemies, we're good. At least we got rid of the snakes. Yeah, that would be awful. linear so far for the uh for the path. You don't have to do anything to get to the uh the treasure or the, the key. Uh three seventy three not that close, but let's just use one small potion here just in case gives us a little bit more of a of a buffer. Like it seems like we're one-shotting all these guys, so... Freaking mimics. Just 
spot like where the mimic was standing. Very linear. I say you can go, you can go diagonal. baby steps wherever I go. Take one step, make sure there's nothing on the map or in front of me. Oh, for sure, yeah. Although, in a way, that could be a bad thing because you're leveling up, but so are the enemies, right? So if you suddenly, like, die and you lose a bunch of stuff, well, the enemies' levels haven't changed, so you're suddenly still fighting the same difficulty of stuff you, you had because you're at this level. So, it could be a bad thing. Well, they, they definitely seem to, because I, I did, I have noticed that, uh, I mean, so, some, some of them they don't, like, if you go into a, uh, earlier, earlier dungeon, then they're going to be like, you know, level one or whatever. They are, but I did notice that in that dungeon, like if I if I tried to not level up, or maybe it was... No, no, I'm thinking of quests. Never mind. Yeah, I was thinking of the quest ones, which definitely makes sense that they would level up with me. Yeah, so that's, that's true. Yeah, it's just in the story ones, they probably do have a static one. Getting chests in this one, so some sort of specific requirement, I guess. I ain't checking. Next. So hyped in you, Asha. Two levels in a row we didn't get a chest. Hope I'm not missing anything good. Boom, oh, another cutscene. I destroyed the entire world. Oh, great Ishtar, for your final judgment of me, please grant me one wish. Still kind-hearted as ever, I see, Key. Very well, I will grant you one wish. This secret I am about to teach you is something mortals were, is not something mortals were meant to know. If you decide to use this magic, you will lose that which is, is most precious to you. No, I, I think I, I watched like one episode of Inuyasha. That's it. I'm going, going to that game with, like, no knowledge, really, of the, the show. Probably my soul. <laughs> Perhaps something even more precious than your own life. Are you sure this is what you wish? Yes. If it'll save the world and guild, then yes. I'm sure it does, I just don't have the time to, um, to marathon a, an anime series. Hold on, Gil. I'm going to try to resurrect the world. The world with you in it. Exactly. No time for enemies. Alright. Destruction 56. 
health 73, 132 next level, so we're leveling up very soon. I was gonna get blindsided here. There's like a bunch of snakes on this level or something. Wizards. Play through and join these spies and look at the credits. It's not surprised. Oh, Shaman King. Which one was the one I played recently? It was really bad. It wasn't Shaman King. It was uh, very good. I forget what it was. It was just some like horrible action RPG one. Oh, I'm sure they are. Especially if you're trying to get clean, clean box. That's why I never bothered with the uh, with the Nintendo portable systems, except for the DS. I mean, the DS is stupidly expensive. So I thought I died there because it was like there was that pause. Like, oh no, I'm dead. The wizards cast on me. I turn range. Yeah, you, 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 Hakusho, that's the one. God, that one sucked. For some reason, when I, when I think of Shaman King, I, I think of that game for some reason. I don't know. Hopefully, the Shaman King ones are better. I think he was Western developed, oh yeah. Towards me, so it's nice when they hit me with like a with a defense down. That thing lasts like two turns and didn't take any damage. The best tournament. The games is pretty good. So this thing here is suspicious as hell in the middle thing. Like maybe you have to walk around this, the edge of this thing. There's so many dudes, they're coming from like every direction. Big spear, Ooh, ice spear. Walk around middle thing. Question mark. This is a 
That's a good spear. It'd be nice to get a spear. Just getting that one extra range, but unless it's like anywhere near the amount of damage, it just wouldn't be that good. Oh, frig no. Never mind. 19 damage. Well, if you can hit the enemy like 50 times, then you can kill them. thing not I guess he, he didn't aggro yet so he wasn't coming for me moving in a direction I didn't expect too much. Come on. Keep moving like too far forwards every time. There seem to like so many enemies. They all seem to spawn all the edges and just start coming towards the middle. Yeah, I don't think there's really. I mean, there's probably some of them like stuff like the. Uh, I don't know how much the ropers give. There's some enemies that are extra hard. Ropers. There's the urchins, which do a massive amount of damage. I haven't seen really any urchins except for like. Maybe like one or two times. Oh, there probably is. I haven't noticed any. I imagine rare ones would just run away from you. levels. Hopefully. God, I hope. Yeah, the enemies keep respawning forever. If you, uh, if you wait too long on the floor, though, you'll get some, like, you'll get, like, a warning thing, and I guess some will-o'-wisps will start spawning which are invulnerable and they're like one hit, well, not necessarily one hit kill, but one hit, go down to one hit point, which technically would be enough to kill you, but you, know, you can't die in one hit. But as soon as you're at one health, of course, then any other hit's going to kill you, so. There's a lot of walls here. Exactly. There's always something to keep you from like just grinding forever, right? I don't know what we did to unlock the chest, but we just 
walked over here, got the key. Get key question mark? I mean, I think I walked from that bottom, like, pillar thing to this pillar thing. Maybe the, doing that triggered it, I don't know. Line to the exit. Crap, ropers. Speaking of ropers. Ah, uh, crap. Crap. Let's guys break through walls. God. Oh God. Oh God. Run away. use the feather. I, I thought that one was for one square further away. Damn it. Ah. <sighs> well, I, I thought that I thought the button lizard man was like one square further. So I thought, okay, I can hit the roper and he's going to come one square further. Maybe I can kill the roper. But even then, I, I didn't. The roper wasn't able to finish it off. So. That's a bullshit floor, holy crap. Well, either way, I would have been surrounded. I, I don't think I had too many more places to go. There's so many lizard men, my god. It was like 20 lizard men. Back to square one again. Ugh. Well. I think it's a good there, good time to call it there for tonight, anyways. I don't have it to go back into that place. <sighs> I have to go grind some more uh, gemstones again for another set of like feet and hands. I mean, I'll have to like put some. It'd be nice to get some some better armor, but whatever. RNG, right? If, if I go in there and I find like a, like some mithril armor or whatever the hell that dragon mail, which I wish I would have checked to see what the hell that was. I didn't realize I picked it up. Then I would have noped it out of there, but you know, whatever. All right. So yeah, let's pause the timer there and call it there for tonight. Uh, so next stream should be on Sunday. Go back on Sunday and uh, hopefully we'll have better RNG. <laughs> better luck, I guess. Ugh. Yeah, well... I mean, I keep I keep forgetting about the abilities. That's another thing too. I have I have abilities, AP, and I had I had gems I could have thrown. Like there's so many things I could have done there. I just tired too, right? That doesn't help. But anyways, we'll we'll take it back up on Sunday. Definitely should bring some gems in with me in case I get situations like that. Just a like kind of a get out of jail free card. <laughs> I guess that's the whole point of the gems or whatever. All right, so let's see who's online there. We can raid up before we head out. Online. 
we got Sega Nick playing some Fantasy Star 2 in the Genesis. So we'll uh, have to braid up Sega Nick. We'll go from there. So everybody have a uh, fantastic rest of the week and catch you on the weekend for more nightmare goodness. Perfect, guys. See you next time.